Andrew, can you say happy Sabbath? Say we had fun today? We saw some of our friends? Yeah. Can you say hi to Daddy? Say hi. Hey. Sabbath hi. is a happy hey. day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. We love every Sabbath. While we were at church, we got a book from a special friend called The World is Awake. It is by Lindsay Davis with Joseph Bottom, and it is illustrated by Lucy Fleming. A celebration of everyday blessings. Thank you, Miss Connie and Mr. John, for an amazing book. This is the day that the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun in the shade while dragonflies flip past flowers and trees and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. And the bees, busy bees, are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. Just look at the sunrise, it's painted the sky, and look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake, it's a wonderful place, alive with God's power and glad with his grace. Out in the yard, just waiting today, are all kinds of things that wait, want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere, and all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. How would you like the rocks to sing, Nathaniel? It's in the praise of the Lord that trees grow so tall, that grass grows so green, and flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God dressed us up too, like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water and sunshine and summer days too, and you, beautiful, beautiful you. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. See that bear over there? He's trying to snooze, despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling a song. You want to see the pictures? Look at all these pictures in it, Nathaniel. Yeah. I love zebras and lions and elephants too. Pandas and penguins and owls that call Woo! peacocks and panthers, a great mountain sheep, creepy old bear who's trying to sleep. Down at the zoo, they're all on parade. The wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. This is a very special book. Yeah. My belly sounds like that bear when it growls. It's time for supper. My tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. At supper time, I take my chair and bow my head and say a prayer to thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed, for milk and juice and bread and cheese, for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good, I eat, and then I thank the Lord for food again. And with my belly full, I start to yawn. The light outside is almost gone. Up in the tree, high in the leaves, I hear God's love and the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight, and far above, the moon shines bright. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close with my, while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep. Calling me down to a dreamy sleep. Calling me down to dream and to sleep. The world is awake. That was a good book. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. It's the end of our day. Our boys are tired. We're ready to calm and do some calm and dreamy sleep. Let's see if we can sing. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye, goodbye. Come back again. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye, guys.